is Dr. Keogh. Hello, Mr. Kaiser. Great to see you again, sir. Well, it's good to see you, sir. This is the Dr. Joey Cherian. Thank you, Mr. President, for appointing me for the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. I sworn in today. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Pleased to have you. Thank you. Next, Dr. Jane Ho, founder of Asian American Voters Coalition. Hi. Hi. You're a wonderful president, and we all love you very much. Well, thank you. This is Frank Van, co-chairman of the coalition, Mr. President. Let me just say thank you to you. Well, thank you, sir. The chairman, Shandok no, Sen, no. in the American Forum. Right. Thank you, Mr. President. Secretary of ABC Coalition. How are you, Mr. Mr. Joseph Cho, yes. President of Federation of Korean Association? Nice to see you. Yes, I met you in Pennsylvania with the John Hines, too. Well, yes, yes. yes. Okay. That's right. Mr. Ben Minigo, President of the Asian Christian American Chamber of Commerce. Nice to see you. Pat Tenario, President of the Asian Pacific American Heritage Council. Niraj Baxi, Asian Indian Association. Mr. K. L. Wang, Organization of Chinese Americans. Mr. David Peter, Coalition Chapter in Texas. I think we're getting some of you all over on the left here. President, you get a good it is indeed great honor and privilege for us to be here to be with you with the greatest president of this nation. We are the champion, defender of freedom, not only for our nation, but around the world. For this, we admire you and we support you completely. Asian American Voters Coalition represents 5.5 Asian Americans, Americans by choice, to be a part of building America even greater. And perhaps you might like to know, Mr. President, in 1984, 70% of Asian Americans vote for you at the polls. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want again, Probably you get 90% of the vote. Thank you. Mr. President, today we want to present this token of appreciation, and I'd like to read this to you, Mr. President. Presented to President Ronald Reagan, first president to meet with Asian Pacific American leaders, first president to appoint Asian, Asian Pacific American to the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, first president to have official signing ceremony to proclaim Asian Pacific American Heritage Week. For this, we want to present this to you, Mr. President, and we want you to know we are ready and willing to support you, your program, during the remaining portion of your administration, particularly, I'm sure, the Douglas uh, Ginsburg for the Supreme Court Justice. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, thank you, and thank all of you. I know how supportive you were with Judge Bork, and I appreciate your support now with uh, this nomination, but also I appreciate what you're doing to interest the Asian Americans in participating in politics and voting and all, and participating in our country, and yes, it is making it greater. And today being very historic because today, Commissioner Joey Cherry was sworn in at the Supreme Court. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. President, you have a great staff and I'm so thankful to your presidential personnel and the public liaison and the Rudy Basara, Linus, and Elsa Grange, and all of you. You have great staff. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Souvenirs of your visit here. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I'm greatly honored by that. Yes, sir. And thank you so much. Gentlemen. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. In for the ladies. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm hoping I'm not going to drop these already. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I never forget you, Mr. President. My families and generations will remember you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. President. Same thing.
Thank you. Well, thank you. Be, those, that's the seal, yes. the great seal on there. Yes. Uh -huh. And maybe you'd like just a little tiny bit of, of history that has to do with that. You, the eagle in the seal, well, as you can see up there, yes. is looking toward the claw that is holding the olive branch. Oh, oh I see. But in the original seal, which is on that ancient desk that was carved out of some planks of a ship that uh, we had sent back to England refurbished after it had been lost in the ice over here in the Arctic. And Queen Victoria sent it back, but in those days, the seal, the eagle, was facing the arrows. And it was after World War II that President Truman changed it and had the eagle now looking to the olive branch for I the see. <laughs> President Hurt, representing the group, can I offer you a kiss on the cheek? Because we really love it. <laughs> 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 well, I hope you will carry through the peace that we we'll have next. We well. pray for you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. And, and uh, Chris, we, we thank you a lot to Nancy. Thank you, President. I hope you will visit India, as you said the last time. Yes, I have missed that. Right? I know. <laughs> Thank you. Hello there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I understand. Signor Presidente, io sono molto lieto, onorato di potermi incontrare. Mi sento onorato di avere l'opportunità di essere con voi. Mi consenta di esprimere un rammarico sincero per la decisione del segretario di difesa Mangiari. Un grande amico dell'Italia. Eh, la decisione di lasciare la difesa è profondamente rammaricata. I'm certain we will have a very good relationship with the Secretary General. Great courage. But you got rid of me, didn't you? Thank you. Well, speaking of friendship, I think our two countries have a very fine relationship and we're very proud of the has told me of your help to us in our policies in the Persian Gulf. You know, it was great. And very pleased with your decision to send a naval detachment there also. I know this was a difficult decision. Well, I think it was for all of us, but it was necessary. I have said that there is a principle involved in the maintaining of an international <coughs> body of water, open commerce and trade.